Cutscene's got to calm down. <laughs> Tails! Do you know who I don't care about? <laughs> Mr. Tails. Like, okay. I Bruce like... the Bat. Knuckles. I like... Big the Cat. Wait, did you just say you don't like Knuckles? I don't care about him. Knuckles is cool as well, shit. I guess I really don't care about Sonic that much. As a character? Oh, uh, yeah, my... His one defining character is two. Chili Dogs and Running Fast. Gotta Three go. if you count Jaleel White. As a defining characteristic. <laughs> oh, dude. But I don't think you really count Did that. I tell you about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? You did tell me about that. Where Jaleel White's playing... Where he's playing Sonic again? I read this uh, I read this article on Kotaku. And it's by the people who made the Mega Man game movie? I read this article on Kotaku a while back. You did? And it made me really hate people. What? About uh, how this, this dude wrote an article... Bragging about the fact that he got laid on a bed with Sonic the Hedgehog sheets on it. Like there was. Was it a, Keith Apicare? There was other stuff. Was it Keith? No, it was, was not it? Keith Apicare. But one hundred fifty. Because I don't think Keith Apicare, like got, the character, gets laid. Is, he is getting laid every time. So like he might have picked up some skanky shit at the music video thing. Like, it's very possible. Kimberly Kimberly Cole gave him a little bit of. Gave him a little no, bit of not her. She. Classy lady. Talking about like one of the backup dancers. The low self-esteem ones. The an one of the anorexic ones. You know they're there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're no. laughing. <laughs> well, no. Can't like, be, but so sorry. Keith, Keith Abicary, like has like like, he had, like one episode he had like a girlfriend. And it was one like, episode. all he did was just play Neo Geo. <laughs> all he did was just play Neo Geo and ignore her. Speaking of Neo Geo. Oh yeah, they're making the they're making the new. Uh... Hey, guess what? It sucks. Really? Yeah. I'm su I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. I'm not sure. But I'm disappointed. Who the market is for that? Because how much was it? You remember? I don't even know. You know how much the market like 400 for it? Bucks, but I think I'm I think I'm lying about that. But either way, my end point is the same. Uh, you can get a PSP for a hundred dollars. I got mine. I got if, mine. In if all you're the games. getting ripped off for a hundred dollars. What? What? Well, I don't mean like, like I got mine for a hundred. I got mine I'm, from a friend for a hundred. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like I'm fairly certain that if you look for any amount of time past like ten minutes on Craigslist, you could probably find a PSP for cheaper than a hundred dollars. And you know what that does? What? It plays Neo Geo games. You don't need to buy like a like a fucking two hundred fifty, three hundred, four hundred dollar piece of equipment, however much it is. Wait, which Neo? You know, oh yeah, the brand new. one. You don't need it. The PSP already does that. I'm fairly certain you can find a PSP for a hundred dollars. You could probably I get it for fifty dollars. But I like, you can find it for hundred. People will pay for this stuff. I suppose. No, like think and that's. We, like, let's we talk need about this to game. Stop that. Well, let's think about this game for a second. This game is good. This game you is. Make that argument with like Sonic 06. No, people don't pay for nostalgia of Sonic 06. No, they don't pay. They bought Sonic 06 to like. They paid for. Nostalgia via it, and that's what ended up happening. And it's unfortunate. I'm not saying it's a positive thing. Like, but this game, like, runs on your nostalgia. Oh my god, is that a fucking that's Eggman that... Death Star? No, that's the. Dude, that's the. I thought you played Sonic and Knuckles. Like, 45 minutes of it. That's the Death Egg, dude. That is a. That's what the whole plot of. Dr. So Robotnik. That's the Death, Death Egg. Star. That's the Death Egg, dude. That's what Hey, you know what I remember of Sonic and Knuckles? Knuckles was a bad guy. Knuckles was a good guy. Knuckles was a bad guy. You, when you played as him, it revealed that... When you played as Knuckles, it revealed that Dr. Robo like had one of these fuckers steal the Chaos Emeralds from him. I don't remember that in the slides. But, hey, guess what? I'm not the one getting mad about Sonic. I feel like what I'm... What the fuck you going for? I feel like I'm the, the opening cutscene. I remember is Knuckles shows up and steals the animals and like knocks Sonic down or something. No, like he that. doesn't steal the animals. He steals the Chaos Emeralds. He steals the because okay. So what happens is, is that Knuckles is just chilling out and like yeah yeah and like like he's just chilling out and then one of these like one of one of his, one of Eggman's robots or Robotniks whatever the fuck you want to call him. Just shows up out of nowhere and steals like the master emeralds. 
Why is it? Why is uh, how you pronounce whatever Knuckles is? An echidna? Yeah, sure. I guess. Why does he have that? Why does he have the master on him? Because that's because he's from a tribe. See, of this is where it gets. This is where this is where this is where I don't want to say comics, dumb. It, I don't want to insult. No, it is. It is. That's really stupid. Yes. Where's the one that where like tails like turns into the Hulk? That happened. What? Oh God, you're right. That happened. <laughs> that did happen. That happened. This is I remember. This is some Archie comics bullshit. I remember it. But it's also like Sonic and Tails meets the Punisher. That hasn't happened. Sure. But you know what? I'm excited for. I care, I care about that. What? Whoa. Whoa! I'm excited for Sonic, uh, Sonic and Mega Man finally teaming up. Except they're not really teaming no, up. No, they? they are actually teaming up. It oh, is really? a. It is a. It's because they're both owned by Archie Comics. Yeah. And Dr. Wily and Dr. Robotnik have finally get in their heads that blue is a really bad color. And they decide to... <laughs> like, that's... Perfect! They decide to, to join forces to defeat both their enemies. Yes, I hate blue. I hate blue, my He's a base... The Robotnik was supposed to be the good guy. Was the, was the original protagonist. What? Yeah, like, when they, before they decided on, like, when they were designing, like, when Sega was trying to find a new game for making a new mascot, the, one of the early, like, proto-designs was Eggman. Was this walrus dude. And he, like, was wearing, like, pajamas and stuff like that. Like, the plot was, the plot, the prototype plot was, was similar to, like, Knights. Because he was, like, a guy having, like, dreams and shit like that. Let's go, motherfucker! See that, that, like effect in the background is beautiful. Yeah. Like the distance. Yeah. The tiny clouds freak me out a little bit. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's happening. Ah. Sweet tricks. Yeah. Oh. 100%. Pro skater you are. <laughs> Dude, can we just like not play this and go play Tony at Pro Skater? Can you find a way to do that? Because I will play that forever. I'm kind of cool with playing this. Ah, I'm I think sorry. Tony Hawk. I'll <laughs> I like Tony Hawk. Well, I did too, but see, oh, oh, there it goes, it. there it goes. Do the, make it do the thing it was doing earlier. I don't wanna. Where like, I really don't. When want you would jump, <laughs> or when you would try and move forward, you would just like side dash. <laughs> yeah, because it does this like weird like double, like okay, okay, like command dash thing. Like you're fucking animation canceling over here. If I can only do that in, like, fighting games. Dude, you'll get your DHC there one day. That means something. I like you, Jeremy, because you jump when the thing's going back up. <laughs> oh, but no, like... And you do that, like, four times in a row because you keep missing the jump. And your timing's off, so you do it again. <laughs> one thing I silence. One thing I dislike about Sonic in this game, yeah, is that, like, like, like there's moments where he'll just forget that he's a per that he's a thing. Like, I think it's my controller, but it's there's times when he's moving so fast that like the game has to like catch up with them. And I and I remember back in like the Sonic Advanced games, like. Like, how, like, insane it would get at times. Like, no, seriously. Like, Sonic Advance was my shit. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not because he's going too fast. It's because Sonic Adventures is a buggy bad game. I said Sonic Advance, not Sonic, Sonic Advance. Ad oh. That's a great game. Unfamiliar. Oh, really? Do you know how many games I've played in my Game Boy Advance? I'm the worst video game person ever. No. But I beat... Harry Potter and the Sorcerer... Not Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, Chamber of Secrets? No, it was totally Sorcerer's Stone. I beat Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I beat Metroid Fusion. Those are the... I can forget. I, 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 Metroid Fusion. Those are two of the three handheld games I've ever beaten. Really? Yes. Wow. It's technically four. Sonic, get there! There you go. It's technically four, but one of them was a console port of a game I'd already beaten. So yeah, it goes Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, Metroid Fusion, Liberty City Stories, 
and the Warriors on PSP. I'm I'm upset now because like you missed out on some great fucking games. Handheld titles, just I can't I can't get into them. Like I can totally get into them because that's like like I feel like I just love the console experience too much. Um, it's kind of why I hesitated I, for the longest time getting into PC gaming. It's just I I recognize its superiority in 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 certain ways. Yeah, and I recognize like the 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 benefits of handheld gaming, the fact that there's some amazing games on it. But I have owned a handheld console every generation since from every generation from the Game Boy Color. No, because I, I had the Game Boy Pocket. I was for the Game Boy Color. Yeah, I had the Game Boy. I had the, I had the Pocket. Game Boy Pocket all the way to the DS and the PSP. I owned both of those. Okay, so my question it's is. Just, Never done it. Uh, Every time. Good job, Sonic. 